season two of the Pat and JT podcast. Oh my, now I'm here at last. The best time, always gonna be the best. Come on. Exclusively on the Herd App Media Network. Right. Um, so 402-403-9478, text us. Um, Nick is sitting in on our podcast this morning. He asked to. Hello, everyone. Which is really odd. I, I you have like a feverish? Are you the, fevery? Well, you all said that I should ask whenever I want to come on. And yeah. um, I, I'm um, I'm capable of turning into a monster where I would ask every single day. <laughs> yeah. But I think I'll start just by asking once in a while. That's fine. So. Whenever. Whenever. No, that's okay. great. Did yeah. you feel a need to set us straight on anything or to, not, to n- comment on anything? Or? Not necessarily. I was telling Pat, I yeah. listened to like three episodes over the weekend. Uh-huh. I started with when Regan joined. Um, mm. Like Thursday, and I she was fun. Yes, and especially you all were talking about work things, like when we all find out when when we found out that Adam had a wife, mm-hmm. and I was sitting in my car <laughs> just like. Ch- uh, Chiming in on, on the You're conversation. Like, like, yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. I was like, that is true. We didn't know Adam. We didn't know Adam had a wife. We just, well, basically, we, didn't we just confirm last week that Gorman's not married? Yes. But he's mm-hmm. been with his girlfriend for yes. like 10 years. And after seven wow. years, it's like, you might as well. You might as like, yeah. I think common law fits in. I think yeah. Was, yeah. I'm going to say he might, he might, maybe someone should like give him a heads up. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> if you're buying any property, dude. Uh-huh. And, I, and, and I've, yeah, and I've yeah. watched my wife watch enough murder shows uh-huh. that last week him and his well, mm-hmm. common law wife are <laughs> out in the middle of nowhere where there's no cell service. They and he were. told everybody that. I don't know if I do that with my wife. I think he told everybody on purpose. Yeah, well, that was true. kind of a protective. That's a good move. point. Good point. That's a good point. That's, yeah, that's a very good point. And it was all over social media. Yeah, so. that's a good. That's a very good. That, and yeah. actually, that's true. Yeah, you're so right. Everybody knew he was going there. Unless you could fall off a cliff taking a selfie. He takes a lot of selfies. But no self. Of, that's true. No phone service. But that's true. He could have still taken a lot selfies. of time lapses. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, hmm. Okay. Um, so yeah. for a couple things about Easter quickly. First yeah. of all, I ate like an absolute cow. <laughs> and I, my wife and I actually went through our closet last night deciding what pants we could wear today. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> and not as in, as in preference? No, not like, hey, we're going to wear the fun Easter pants. No, <laughs> it's what fits. And I, I put on a belt this morning. I had to take it off. It doesn't fit. Did, it's one of those. It's not. It's need, not uh, is there some point, too, you funny. reach a point where you just don't need a belt? Because today, <laughs> yeah. April, April 5th, these, these 2021, nope, <laughs> these pants aren't moving. And that's the name of the episode. These pants these, aren't moving. These pants aren't moving. We, I absolutely ate constantly. Like, at one point, Beth's like, I am so full as she's getting another helping of this broccoli cheese. It's just, it's crazy. But fun little side story. I've always, I've talked about my neighbors yeah. in the past. Mm-hmm. Um, they're just different. Different folks. And so they, they, they don't come out much. They don't hang out at all with anybody. But yesterday I sent both of you guys pictures and video <laughs> because they had their adult adult children. I mean, I'm say like early 20s. And they all kind of live there. And they had wind up hamster races on their sidewalk for three hours. Three, well, last time I texted you, yeah. it was close to two hours. It was three solid hours. And it ended. We're outside watching. I'm peeking through the fence, taking pictures, <laughs> sending it to all my friends and family. <laughs> yeah. And the picture of me taking the picture that my wife took yeah. was <clears throat> even better. <clears throat> Highly um, incriminating. And it ended with, I don't know if they were having a tournament or what, but it ended in a, a, just a roar of cheering and then silence. <sighs> Heard the front door shut and that was it. It was over. When you say three wind hours. up hamsters, like... Little wind up cars. Like yeah, it looks just up. like that, but it's a hamster. Hmm. So like so, <clears throat> and and it wasn't that. It, that's not that bad. Like you do it one time. Like I have a couple cocktails. Give me a wind yeah. up hamster. I'll have a race. <laughs> yeah, one or two maybe, and then I'm bored with it. Yeah. It was three solid hours, and they all had big bunny ears on. I don't know, man. I just it's like you can't write this stuff. <laughs> Were you the only one watching? Yes. Was, okay. That you know yes. of. Huh? Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. There could have been every other neighbor peeking through their face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I think I was the only one watching. I tried to get my wife to come back there with me, but she wouldn't. My I texted my son. Oh he my left God. a party. Tell Nick this. He left a party to come back and sit and watch do some Mm-mm. fence watching. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He's oh. like, I'm on. He goes, I'm on my way. Oh my. <laughs> You're back. turning into Mrs. Kravitz. Uh huh. You are, but I'm you not are being nosy and nosing around. But I'm not. But I'm not peeking through their house, like into their house. They're in the driveway doing their hamster races. So I don't know. Not even in. The, well, they have to do it in the driveway. That makes sense now. Because I asked you why they were doing this in the front yard. Mm-hmm. Now I get it. Yeah. Because they needed the concrete. <laughs> now, <laughs> going, like, now it makes sense. <laughs> were they going down a slope or was no? It, was it was it like a, it was like it was like they're sitting on their. It wasn't even oh their driveway. God. It was like on their sidewalk. Like you know how it's segmented. Mm-hmm. It was just like on one segment of the sidewalk leading up to their front. Steps. Hmm. Um, Interesting. You're sure there were hamsters? Yeah. 
well. Could they I have mean, been bunnies? Like Easter? I don't. I, don't know. I mean, Just maybe thinking, may, they could have been, but it just there was one point in, the, in yeah. the video that I could pause the screenshot and zoomed in. It looks like a hamster. <laughs> How long have they lived there? About a year and a half. Okay. Did they do this last year? Do you no. remember? No. I haven't seen them since last year. Like, they don't come out at all. <laughs> okay. Like, they'll come out in the middle of the night and hiss, and then they go back inside. Like, they don't come out. They don't do anything. <laughs> They as say, far and as I've, you know, they don't work. They don't. I don't know. And they're and I've talked to the like the the mom wife whatever. She's nice, super nice. Like I just don't get it, man. I just don't get it. The, yeah. the amount of forensics that you've done. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> right. What, what did you talk about? Um. Just like neighborly stuff. <clears throat> oh, it was oh. after it was uh, after I I was the hero and stopped the the. That oh. guy from stealing their car. She came over and thanked oh. us. Oh, did yeah. you share that story? I did. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's a good yeah. story. That's a good. Yeah. Story. So she um, yeah. <laughs> she she's super nice. Oh my god! I haven't talked to him since. Yeah. Okay. And there may be a dog buried in their front yard because they what? had some sort of ceremony about six weeks ago. <gasps> I don't know. Front lawn. You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> Add but that to again, the list. But no. then again, I, I will <laughs> say that um, when I lived in Phoenix, my my puppy died, and um, Daphne, and she's buried in the yard. Yards okay. Front yards weird. Not the front yard. It was, okay. yeah, it's not the front yard. Oh, yeah, there's every house I've lived in has an animal buried yeah. somewhere with a little cross. I always regret that because I should have yeah. had her cremated because then she could be with all the others. Never mind. Right. I'm not going to go down that road. <laughs> I'm just saying. There's, there's negatives to both. There's negatives because you leave a little one behind, but then also you're toting around 50 corpses, <laughs> my, my, ash corpses. My, my inventory is <laughs> right. mounting. Yeah. <laughs> you have a lot of pets. Anyway, so Nick, what'd you do for Easter? Um, I, <laughs> um, so my two brothers like weren't joining up with the family. So I met um, Emmy, my girlfriend who's been on the show and my parents went to around the bend, which is a, a steakhouse in Ashland. Yeah. South bend Ashland. Yes. yes. Yeah. Um, and I, for some reason, like I was told we were meeting at meeting at noon, but um, I just had it in my head that it was 1130. So we get there 30 minutes early. Um, so we kind of toured the cool. South Bend, um, went down to Ashland. How um, cute is downtown Ashland, by the way? It is. It's awesome. It it's going to be like the hot spot in a decade. Yeah. When, once like Omaha continues to grow west. And it's just so <clears> much <throat> fun to go down there and hang. Oh, it yes, is. absolutely. It's abs- It is. It really is. I, I have to say the people that have paid attention to that, They've done a great job preserving mm-hmm. what downtown looked like and uh, keeping the brick streets. You know that. Yeah. So cool. That yes. Middle street. Yeah, that's true. Any downtown <clears throat> with the brick road is like amazing. Yeah, yeah. It OG is. downtown. And it's well ca- cared for. Oh, mm-hmm. yes, absolutely. That's true. So what did you think around the bend? Did you? It was good. It was did good. Did you I, have the, the specialty? I had the specialty. <laughs> um, the Rocky Mountain Oyster yes. specialty. What, um, they call them something different there. Like beef fingers or something? I never. I guess I didn't notice. I don't know. Yeah. So I've never eaten them there. I'd have one when we were at Vogler's, and they sent me home yeah. with a tray for my whole family, and I ate the entire thing on the way home on the interstate. <laughs> They're so good. So yeah. good. So good. They're delicious. Absolutely. Um, and, and, and Emmy like them? Uh, Emmy refused to try them. <laughs> yeah. She, she would like them if she, if she didn't yeah. know what they were. If she, she thought they were just them. like steak strips. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. She also doesn't like to eat lamb because <laughs> lambs are cute. Yeah. So that's kind of like what we're working with <laughs> that's, here. That's hard. So, it's hard. Yeah. It's yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I get it. Because lambs yeah. are cute. Lambs are, yeah. 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 I, um, I understand. Yes. I do. Yes. I, I get it. Yeah, I understand. Kind of. But, but the, the, the testicle festival, that's something you need to aim for. When is it? June. I'm June? Sure okay. And June. is it like one weekend or is it mm-hmm. a whole? All right. Yeah, it's like a weekend festival. They have if if the weather cooperates. I, I don't did they have it last year with COVID. I don't think they did, which is sad because it was an outdoor event. Yeah, but um, they w- they have tables set up outside. They'll have music. They have live stages, and then they have people. You know, some people cooking out back, and then they have yeah. It's just it's just a, a fun outside event. Yeah. Um. So hopefully you get it take part in that it's a lot of fun yeah that's absolutely. cool i remember the very first time i went to the testicle festival but that's when it was still in south bend in south bend is mm. where around the bend was oh okay there's a little restaurant right on the highway because did you go to south bend we did so, uh, that was the first stop to yeah. like, drive through south bend but it's a town of 90 people so it took about three minutes blink <laughs> yeah and that was yeah. it so as you drove in as you were driving from Round the bend to South Bend, it would have been on the right hand side is where the restaurant used to be. Okay. Um, on the highway there, and it was it was yeah, it got super popular and it was packed. I mean, they they had to figure out something to yeah. do because they couldn't stay where they were. So good for, good for them though. They've been doing bang up job. Yeah. Is there any sort of food you wouldn't eat though? Because some people think testicles are like exotic and gross. It's just meat. Yeah. Um, I'm not a picky eater, and I'm very like open to trying new things. Okay. Good for you. Yeah. Cute or not. Cute or not, yeah. Okay. My my dad worked for Cabela's growing up. Uh, and yes, they would have like employee 
like picnics and stuff yeah. where they would serve alligator and snake and so I, I right. tried pretty exotic food and would continue to Did you was your dad a yeah. hunter? Uh, he pretended to be because all of his coworkers were. Um, <laughs> yeah. He ha- he hasn't hunted recently. Yeah. Um. So he would say right. yes, maybe with like a. I would yes say. With a question mark. I yeah. think I would if you support them. I would say you're a hunter because like yeah, okay, I've never okay. hunted, but I I absolutely I, I've gone with them like deer camp or pheasant hunting or pheasant okay. you know to to competitions or things like that. And I like doing those things. I like. Mm-hmm. I, I love watching those. Um, I'm not skilled at it, and I, I'm not confident enough in my ability as far as hunting. It's like the thing that worries me is hurting an animal and not killing it. Oh, yeah. You yeah, know, I'm not a fan of that. I've, right? been, I've been on hunts with my dad. I haven't hunted yeah. for for a long, long, long time, but yeah. where there was that situation, and I was not a fan Mm-mm. of that. Yeah. yeah. No, I want to make sure all the precautions are in place precautionary measures are in place, which is usually you have people going to one end of a draw and people on the other end and, and, you know, and one side's hunting. So if they go the other way that they can oh yeah, yeah. take care of it on the other end. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's, that's interesting though. So you've probably had like game feeds. Yes. Most things definitely. like that. I yeah. like, I like that kind of yeah. stuff too. Yeah. I've gone to the Cabela's little cafe or whatever. And then oh. I had the alligator and the shark and all that stuff with my <laughs> yeah. dad too. It's, it's awesome. It's mm-hmm. all great. I don't know if I've ever had anything I didn't like. Yeah, it all tastes like chicken, kind of. That's <laughs> it does. I, yeah, um, it would be tough to like distinguish between like, oh, this is rabbit, yeah. and then this is right, which is scary yeah. if you're a chicken. Yeah, like, you know, right. It's like, I t- really, really, right. Well, we don't need to go to the swamp and get an alligator. Yeah. Let's just get a chicken. chicken. Yeah. <laughs> we uh, then after around the bend, we went to the drive-through zoo. Oh yeah, in Ashland, which is amazing. The safari park is awesome. Yes, safari yeah, it's park. really really cool. Did you? Where, yeah, um, it's been like gosh, fifteen. I think it's yeah. like the first year it was open that we went. Okay, I believe there's a an elk that escaped. And it's actually running around. What? It's been, yeah, by Weirspan Lake. There's it's been spotted around for the past mm. I don't know year, and there are like legit pictures of it. And the nobody can will say this, but that it escaped from that. Safari from the park. safari park. Mm-hmm. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Looking for some, uh, look for some white tail. I'm right. sure it is. I'm it's sure be. it is. You, can you imagine that boy walking over the hill and there's a whole bunch of girls down there. He's mm-hmm. like, holy yeah. cow, Betty. Yeah. yeah. The girl's like, no. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Have you tried Poor bison? Guy. Yes. Yeah. Um, there was bison a- burgers. I love yeah, bison. Same here. Mm. Yes, good stuff. Yeah. Very good stuff. It is. And it's supposed to be better for you. Yeah. Yeah. More I don't lean. care about that, really. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, right? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> After yesterday. Yeah. I must eat a bison. It's healthier for me. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Double fisting broccoli cheese <laughs> yeah. soup in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Can I say yesterday I had, okay, so I had a severe craving yesterday for potato. Okay. I haven't had potatoes in a long time, right? Or anything mm. like it. And I'm like, we're, I didn't want fast food. I didn't want like French fries. I wanted like, and I didn't just want a baked potato. I'm trying to think, okay, what do I want? You have really specific cravings. I know. It's Mm -hmm. like I wanted something really good because I think if there's a couple restaurants in particular where you can get a baked potato, and for some reason there's just always better. Uh You know what I mean? Yeah. When you get something that's made by somebody else. Or potato skins, which I hadn't had for, and I think, is it it Fridays that used to have? TJ Fridays had bomb ones. Bomb. Yeah, and, and Ruby Tuesdays had good ones too. And so I ordered potato skins. From this restaurant that I absolutely, I love eating their steaks. I love all, everything else I've ever had there. The steaks in particular, they're really good. Worst thing I've ever ordered. Really? I was so disappointed when I got home. Maybe it's better when you eat them there. Maybe, but it was terrible and it really, it turned me off so bad. I was like, well, apparently I wasn't meant to enjoy this. So... (laughs) My that sucks. Potato skins. That doesn't. We were super excited for something. How can you mess up potato yeah. cheese and bacon? How it's can tough. you mess that up? It's tough. And it was messed up. So yeah. I was sad. But like what what Pat was saying, when you're like build up anticipation to try something, you know, you order, or find the place, order it from there, wait 30, yes. 45 minutes, and then it sucks. It, it, oh. feeling, or when feeling. you order something and you get it to go, you get it home and it's wrong. And or it's, there's or like it's yeah. wrong. yes, that's another one too. Um, just to let everybody know, summer summer is here as far as I'm concerned. I hope this isn't fake spring. My dad bet me a buck fifty that it's going to snow yet this buck month. fifty random. Mm. Yeah, I know. I don't know why he when chose Gene that. Gene Fiverr buff, yeah. give it a shove. Can you do, it? <laughs> Can you do two bucks? Nope, he just said buck fifty. I said, buck okay, 50? you're on. He's, he bet me it's going to snow yet this month. And I'm like, I'll take that well, bet. I'll take that I don't bet. know. It could. I know. because it's, it's done it to before. Be, right, we're supposed to get rain this week, and then it's supposed to be in the 50s and 60s by the end of the week. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But anyway, I pulled all the patio furniture out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everything's out, and I got Jack a new pool. <clears throat> Jack, my German Shepherd, had one of the, you know, the little bitty baby mm-hmm. pools, because that's what he had when he was a puppy, and then last year it worked for him okay, too. I put it out there this year, and he stood in it, and it was just like, oh, that isn't going to work if you're <laughs> way too big. <laughs> so I went and got him a great big baby pool, and we filled it up, and it's probably a foot deep 
Mm-hmm. Oh, he's going to love that. Oh, yeah. my God. When it's he a thousand was degrees outside. Bobbing for his frisbee. Yeah. It was hilarious because his whole face goes under <laughs> when he goes to get it. And he was, he was killing it. He was loving it. So it was a, it was a great day. We, yeah, uh, it, hopefully, summer is here. We ordered patio, a whole patio set, dining mm-hmm. set yesterday online. This is another funny, quick little story. We've been looking for this for a while. Mm-hmm. And Beth is the kind of person you find something and then she'll look for the best possible deal of whatever. Yes. Okay. We found Remember. one at Walmart yesterday. It's like a Better Homes and Garden ones. It was like one of the best ones we've ever found. Anyway, so we get home she's doing all this research all night and then she realizes wait bennett works at walmart gets an employee discount so i text him and i'm like hey bud can we use your blah 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 employee discount and he's like i'm gonna be honest i don't know what you're talking about like he had no clue so we hacked into his account his walmart employee account she goes trust me the, the password wasn't hard and we hacked in yeah and got the 10 percent discount he didn't even know they had oh no clue God. and he didn't even know he got that that's awesome. It was like an $80 savings right, right? there. Yeah. Yeah. That can count. That mm-hmm. adds up. That adds yeah. up. Yeah, it was. It was It was great yesterday. It was like, I'm, I'm like, oh, please let this not change. Please, this, yeah. please be summer. Please be summer. Neighbors were mowing. One of the neighbors had a sprinkler going. Well, and if it does snow, then you're out of buck <laughs> 50 also. That I'm, double I suck. Yeah. I know. That's the way it's going to go. Well, shoot. Well, you know what? Uh, let's see. Was there anything else that I had that I wanted to? I can't think of anything else right ahead. Yeah, that was that was pretty much our big thing yesterday. Was Dad's bet with me, and then uh, so since we're both over forty and you're not, so you have a list of things you're not. Supposed I to, so do. we say that for tomorrow. I was going to say that for because then you can come back on our podcast again tomorrow got, oh. without even being asked. I mean, okay. without even asking. Okay, yeah. 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 So uh, I'm I'm invited. You're invited. Mm-hmm. We have Getting a list. Shakes. I'm so excited. It's it's, it's things <laughs> that um, people over forty need to stop doing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm interested. I can I can instantly think I'm of interested. four right now. <laughs> Yeah, I can yeah. too. I can too. <laughs> and they happened this morning. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, but yeah, I got an extensive list of things that people over 40 need to stop doing. Okay. How should I prep for tomorrow? Uh, I think up? you're probably prepped. Okay. Yeah. I think, right. yeah. As are we. <laughs> I think we're probably Fair prepped. Enough. Sadly, I'm, I'm looking at this list and I'm like, yeah, that's... I have to explain my teeny tiny piece of paper one day too, but yeah. never mind. I don't think you can. We'll talk about that later. Uh, so if you okay. have any preemptive things, you can text them to us at 402-403-9478. Uh, email hey at patentjt.com. Thanks for listening. Yeah. Pat and JT Podcast. A Huda Media Production.